I don't want to be an independent woman anymore. This is not all that it's cracked up to be. This message is for my future husband, so if you're not my future husband, please keep scrolling. Daddy, I don't want to work anymore. Oh, I decided that I need me a sugar daddy, but I want me a sugar daddy that don't want no sugar. That being this independent woman paying all the bills like, uh-uh, uh that's ghetto. Right now. I don't know if anybody else has realized this, but this whole independent woman thing, you know, I don't need nobody. I can do bad all by myself. It's feeling like a scam. That's because it is a scam and it always was. The era of the boss babe may be coming to an end. There's been a surge of women on social media complaining about how hard it is to work, how expensive things are, and how they're done with being an independent woman. Well, sorry ladies, you reap what you sow. For years, you've been telling men that they aren't needed and that men are unnecessary. How they're inherently toxic and that society is nothing but an oppressive patriarchy that marginalizes women and gives privilege to men. Even though more men do dangerous jobs, die in wars, and build and maintain everything. I could continue, but I think I've made my point. Toxic feminism has infected the minds of women for years with this kind of nonsense and most of them just swallowed it up without asking any questions. George Orwell predicted this in the book 1984 when he wrote that it was always the women, and above all, the young ones, who were the most bigoted adherents of the party, the swallowers of slogans, the amateur spies and nosers out of unorthodoxy. And you know what a lot of feminists did when they read this? Like almost everything else which challenges them, they labeled it as misogyny and wrote a woke hit piece about it. You extend a life rope to a feminist, and instead of using it to self-reflect, she hangs herself with it. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Megabytes, who wrote, Instead of asking why passport bros exist, they should ask why there are no foreigners looking for western women to marry. The market corrects itself. This is exactly what's going on, and the western women don't realize it. So please, don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5. As usual guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me, so don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too, as it helps a ton. Now back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. Feminism has been telling women they should be strong, independent women for years. The terms boss babe and girl boss hashtag started to pick up steam around 2014. It started as a meme, but so many women chose to adopt it as a persona. Along with feminist woke ideology. All of a sudden, women were proudly and unironically posting videos on social media saying how great it was to be a single, independent, career-driven woman. Ladies wanted their independence. They fought for their place in the office for some reason as if it was a privilege to be there. All the while, men stood and watched from the sidelines as women traded their cushy roles in the home for a job in the office, climbing the corporate career ladder. And we didn't like what we saw because we knew the truth. Work isn't glamorous. It's work, and it's difficult. We wouldn't do it if society wouldn't collapse overnight if we didn't. But it isn't a luxury to work six or seven days a week in this society, and this woman is unfortunately finding this out. I see so many TikToks talking about how being an independent woman is so much better, and it's amazing that you don't have to depend on anyone else, but I'm exhausted. I own my own house, I can pay my own bills, I work full-time five days a week, I'm a full-time single mum, and I think it's just exhausting because of how lonely it can be. So I go, I go out, I go clubbing, just to be surrounded by people for my one night a week that I don't have my baby boy, and I'm lonely. 
While women were fighting to become boss babes, men couldn't understand why women were fighting so hard to do something that honestly kinda sucks. And because men have always been the ones to rebel and defy tyranny in the past, we're able to call out bullshit when we see it. Behind the scenes, we could tell that something was wrong. Why all of a sudden were women being encouraged to join the workforce en masse? It wouldn't be because the powers above want to squeeze every penny out of the population, would it? An ideology doesn't take root in the culture unless the most powerful in society benefit from it. We could see that, but women couldn't. They completely fell for it and we got cancelled for speaking out against it. We could also see the idiocy of feminism painting aspiring mothers as second-class citizens. Women birth everyone. It's the most important role in society. All other jobs exist to make that job possible. But despite this, feminism shames women for being mothers and labels it as evidence of internalized misogyny and male oppression. If you have the courage as a woman to openly say that you want to raise a family, this is what you'll get. Why do you just want to raise kids? What about your career? Why are you just doing what men want you to do? You don't just exist to please men. I can't think of a more self-destructive hill to die on than shaming women for wanting to be mothers. Can you imagine what would happen if every woman was a feminist? We'd have offices full of angry, miserable, single, and lonely women. We'd die out in three generations, but at least the cat population would flourish. We called it when we saw it. We tried to warn them and speak up about it. And you know what women said? They said, Men are just intimidated by a successful woman. They're just afraid their reign of oppression and control is coming to an end. They're insecure man-children. Go, girl! And men said, Okay, ladies, whatever you say, you'll get your equality and you'll find out how hard it is to be a man. We'll see how much you enjoy it. Immediately, many women realized how hard the world of work was. But there was a unique opportunity women had in society that most men didn't. You might even call it a privilege, but we won't even go there. It's an entrepreneurial opportunity to be a boss babe without much work. And that opportunity is OnlyFans. Impossible dating standards have created a mass of simps willing to part with outrageous sums of cash to random women on the internet. Women whom they will never meet who don't care about them. All in exchange for some attention. One guy even spent $63,000 on a creator called Ruby Rose, and she didn't even touch him for a picture. That's the body language of a woman who thinks you're a creepy pervert. And it's a crazy amount of money some of these women are making. The top earner is Bad Baby, who rakes in just under $60 million a year. And before you say, that's not representative of the average, let me tell you a story from a friend of mine. He was in London swiping on Tinder until he matched with a solid 9 out of 10. He's a balding guy with a dad bod, so he was skeptical. Next thing you know, this woman sent him a menu of services. Turns out, she was an online sex worker with an OnlyFans account. She was using Tinder to get new business because she'd just started. On the menu were things like feet pics, topless videos, and things that were way more intense. He's an entrepreneur, so he decided to ask her how much on average she makes a month from doing this. She replied saying, between 12k and 20k, it depends. And this is in British pounds, so that's like $26,000. And that's just from some random Tinder match. Women have been on the grind for years now, but things have started to get difficult. The price of houses has started to skyrocket and everything costs way more than it used to. You see... It's easy to adopt the whole boss babe mentality when things are going smoothly. It's easy to say you don't need a man when the average household expenses are reasonable and you can survive on your own, but times like that are extremely rare. And now that time is over, and things are going to get a whole lot worse. Men saw this coming, but women are starting to realize it. Life is hard and unpredictable, and the people who've been training themselves to deal with this throughout history have been men. Maybe they aren't as useful as we've been telling them they are. And we've been seeing more and more women on TikTok complaining about how hard it is to work your ass off only to have to come back and do housework too. I am sitting here and I can't help it but think that I'm tired of working. I have always worked through my pregnancies, through everything. Always paid. 
the majority of the bills. Now I'm like, I don't want to be this strong, independent woman. I, I, I don't. I don't. I am not interested. I have a huge, huge house. I pay all the bills by myself. Now I just want the universe to bring me the man that can make me a housewife. I've done it and I'm not interested in anymore. I want to be a housewife. I want to have your dinner ready when you get home. I want to take your shoes off, give you a massage. I want to sex you down. I mean, sex you down when you get home. I want somebody to push me back to the 70s. I am not interested. Yes, you heard that correctly. A boss babe who doesn't need a man suddenly wants one to magically show up, rescue her, and take her back to the 70s a time when slapping your wife was considered acceptable. Uh, Not the worst thing to slap a woman now and then. As I remember, you said you don't do it with a clenched fist, it's better to do it with an open hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I didn't love that. I haven't changed my opinion. Uh, you haven't? No. If women are dying to go back that far, feminism failed. The feminist bill of goods they promised came up short. Being an independent woman isn't the empowering, liberating experience they said it would be. Being a masculinized woman doing all of the work is exhausting and difficult. This reveals the short-sightedness of the whole boss babe, independent woman movement. They fought to get into the workplace, but they have just as much housework to do at home. So they've essentially doubled the amount of work they need to do. Well done, ladies. Toxic feminism has fed you a lie. You ate it up. You realized it was bullshit, and now you want to be a housewife again. But there's a problem. Women have been corrupted by feminism to the point where a lot of them have become narcissists. As a boss babe, you deserve nothing but the best. You should never have to compromise or settle on anything. You go girl. So now we've got a mass of single women chasing the top 10% of Chad bad boys and they refuse to settle. I predict that this will go on until things get so difficult they'll switch and try to find a beta provider to take care of them. Some women might get lucky, but a lot more women won't. They'll try to go back to the guys they turned away only to find that they aren't wanted anymore. Then they'll go on TikTok to complain about it, which is exactly what we're seeing now. The reality is, you can't kick a dog for years and then expect it to play ball. Men are realizing more and more that they don't need women to be happy. Men are built for sacrifice and struggle. We're content with so much less. A man in an apartment will sleep on a mattress on the floor if it means he has freedom. This is exactly why you see men who've left shitty marriages move into an apartment on their own. They're starting from scratch, but as long as his life is his own, he's happy. A woman, on the other hand, needs to have things decorated a certain way. If she's experienced luxury before, she'll be reluctant to settle for less in the future. Soon, we're going to see that women need men to afford the same lifestyles they're used to, and time will tell if men will take these women back. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. There's something I haven't talked about yet which will destroy the last remnants of the Boss Babe era, and that's AI. There are two main reasons for this. The first is that AI will kill the income of OnlyFans creators and influencers. The technology is in its early stages and people are still making money online using AI-generated influencers. Wait, stop. This girl does not exist. She is fake. Look at this Instagram profile. Lil Michaela is the most popular with over 2.7 million followers, making over $8,000 per post. And this guy got catfished over OnlyFans when he learned that his online girlfriend was actually an AI bot. This is where things are heading. Women on OnlyFans will eventually be unable to compete with AI accounts. That's because they can churn out content faster and cheaper than a human can. And as technology improves, it'll get better at optimizing for what people enjoy. It'll keep getting better at giving people what they want. And this is with technology that's only just beginning. We haven't even seen what it's capable of yet. The second way AI will end boss babes is by removing the need for most online jobs. In the future, manual jobs will likely be the most sought after and highly paid. They aren't going anywhere. 
These are the things that AI can't do. But you know who won't be doing these jobs? The boss babes. They've made it obvious that they have no interest in doing the difficult, hard jobs that keep society running. This is why we have hiring quotas in society when it comes to getting women into science, technology, maths, and engineering, but no quota for making more women bricklayers or plumbers. Women said they didn't like those jobs, so society didn't make policies for them. Society doesn't oppress women, it favors them. That's the classic thing. In easy times, everyone forgets that it was men who sacrificed to make it happen. During times like the Great Depression and the Dark Ages, it was men doing the difficult work that led to the good times that women enjoyed. And when things slip into dark times again, everyone looks to men to save them. But the damage is done. Who knows if we'll ever be able to come back from this. Feminism has masculinized women so much that finding sweet, soft, and caring family women is almost impossible now and men will find it hard to forget how they were treated when society said they weren't needed. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.